Hey guys, it's Uncontrollable RC, and today we have a rare and extremely cool treat in the garage, homie. And I'm telling you, this thing is off the hook cool. I've just completed the RC trailer uh, for the Venom King of Shaves P1 cigar or cigarette boat, as some people call them. And as we know, the Venom King of Shaves boats are just badass. They look mean, they're bad to the bone, and you know that they're going to tear the water up as soon as they get their prop in the water. It is going to be so cool to test it, to really push it to its limits, see how, fi see how fast it'll go, see how far it'll go, see how sharp it'll turn, maybe roll it over a couple times, just really beat the hell out of it. And we're going to see if the Venom King of Shaves boats actually last up to the name that they say they do. Actually last the, the total time. We're going to see if that actually will happen. But for right now, we're going to unveil the trailer, we're going to talk about the trailer a little bit, get you the questions the answers off of it and we're gonna see what the RC world thinks of the trailers so as you can see here slates are made out of oak with a felt type base to them super smooth super easy super nice for the hull it won't scratch or ding the bottom of the hull meaning it'll be super nice and easier for the boat to get on and off and you won't have to worry about scratching it. Uh, the next little tidbit is all of these corners throughout the trailer, you know, throughout all of it, have been brazed. Everything you see here has been brazed or welded together. It has not been nut and bolted. None of it. The only nut and bolt on here is for the wheels. That is it. No other nut and bolts, nothing. It is simply that and it's all been braced with silver solder I have some of the silver solder here I'll show you guys what I've been using it is come on focus lead free silver solder fucks for non electrical applications do not get the electrical kind of solder it may work for a little bit but I guarantee you it will break eventually in the end and here's some silver solder as you can see it covers most of my finger I've used a little bit of it, but it's a very generous amount, and I've actually gone through two of these rolls to completely build the trailer. Trailer is about 35 inches long. It's to fit the hull of the boat perfectly with these slats. Um, each wheel has been uh, bearinged and is great for operation. Very smooth going down the ramp. So it's very nice uh, when you're going down the ramp. Um, these are HPI racing rims with the five spoke that you guys used to see on Mustangs and things of that nature. Uh, this is the original color that I first painted it a couple days ago. Not really liking the color, so I think I'm going to go over it and then get it pinstriped by an expert and have King of Shaves painted on the side. Uh, but that's going to be another for another video. Um, so yeah, the only thing that I haven't completely finished with the trailer is the tongue. Um, I still have to get a hitch and ball or a hitch and ball attachment for the truck, which is going to be pulled by the Axial SCX10 uh, Dingo Dually Edition, which is actually uh, one of the first videos I ever did. It was the RC Plow video, so you guys can go and watch that now. It's a pretty nice video. I'm going to be redoing that video again in winter, and it's going to go up and down and all that. But we're not really focused on that right now. We are more focused on the trailer. The last piece I did was a little stand that I built. And you'd pull the pin out. And then it slides down to the end. And then when it's on the boat, it'll just sit like that. So yeah, that's how that works. And um, it's pretty easy to do. Not that hard or difficult for that matter. But as you can see, it is a nice trailer. And I'm super stoked, super happy, super excited, whatever you want to call it. I'm very happy and very excited to get this on the water. The next video that I'm going to be doing is with the boat on it. And it's going to be going down the ramp with the truck, which has to still get rebuilt. Because I'm having a part and the bearings are bad inside. So I'm rebuilding most of the truck and re-going uh, over it to get it back to how I feel it should be built. Um, so yeah. This is all going to be a work in progress. This is going to be a series of videos. I'm super excited for it. 
and um, cannot absolutely cannot wait cannot wait for the trailer to get in the water and for you guys to see what it's actually like. Uh, so hope we see you guys on the water tearing up the the wake, making it pretty nasty out there with your RC boats. Have fun and enjoy this nice summer weather.